Hi guys, it's Sam from Elementary Technology. This is a quick video on five lesson tips you can use using your um, Ava Visualizer. This can be remotely or this can be in your classroom as well. So it's for hybrid learning, using the software, just some really simple hints and tips to help you guys along the way for teaching and learning. So I'm just going to share the software with you. And first up, we have a maths um, equation. So we would be zoomed out quite far, so we can actually zoom in to get closer. It's nice and clear. I'm going to solve the math puzzle. So we're going to use our annotation tool and our text box to figure this out. So if we go three times three times three, we will get 27. Uh, so there we've worked out that the square is actually 27. We can use the select tool to move this into a position to make it a bit neater. Um, and what you can do as well is we, we jump into the shapes. We can create a shape here. So we know that that's a three as well. There we go, dead easy. Next one across, so we know this is a three already, so we'll bother three in there. So if we go three times two, times two, times two, will give us 24. We can bob them in the middle to make them nice and neat, so it's very engaging for our pupils. And we've worked out that the triangle, which is here, is worth two. So we will do exactly the same as what it's done before, okay? Next across, we have a square, which is a three. Triangle is a two, and if we work out that circle is a four, we'll actually get 96 there. So let me make that neater. There we go. And then we can actually bob the circle in here as well. And we can bob the uh, value in. So we've worked out the equation. Let's just make this a bit neater. There we go. So now we can go, we can use our sums that we've done on the left hand, on the right hand side, sorry. Four plus three times two will give us the answer of 14. And again, anything you want to make neater, you can move it across like so. Really simple, just use annotation tools there. Take a picture of it. It will save it into your software over here. And then what we can do is we can compare and contrast um, and discuss as a class to see if we've got the answers right. So very simple for maths there, nice and easy to do. So we should take that one away and we will delete our annotations. Uh, next one across, um, let's go let's some anatomy here. So you can see that we have our skeleton friend here with some labels on. We can ask our class exactly what the labels are. Now there are two ways we can do this. You can do it live and give them instant feedback by saying it's right or not. So let's say we use our text box again and we go ulna. We can then move that into place let's just put it here and i'll put skull in as well just a nice thing you want the skull so and we can move that into place there as well again once we've done we can take a picture and it'll store in our media library alternatively a second way you can do this is you can actually preempt it by having your labels on the left hand side so we could go like this and let's go ah, so oh i'll tell you what let's just I've done two there. So we've got actually an undo button there, which is useful as you can see. It's cool. And the button. Okay. So what we can do is we can pop these on the left hand side here and then discuss with our class. And you can actually get them to see if they can move them into each one, but you can do it for them. So you can they can say it's here or and here and here. And once they've done it, you can take a picture and see if they're right or not. Again, we're going straight back into the media library here. I've actually done one earlier. So if I go side by side, I've got an answer sheet as well. I can drag and drop that next to it and we can zoom in and see if they've got them right. So really simple to do. All right, next one across. So let's delete our annotations again. See, so yeah, I'm taking pictures here for evidence constantly. So uh, let's do some comprehension. First up is how to. We can pop this under the visualizer here. We can see that we've zoomed in quite far. So if we use our zoom reset button, it will go back to its furthest point. So there you can see we absolutely this up a little bit. There we go. We've got five different elements of it. We can discuss them as a class. If we wanted to do it individually, we can use our cover-up tool where we can just reveal a specific part. Um, then we can actually swap into the actual comprehension. Okay, we can do it together. So it's a little bit fast. I'm going to zoom in once. Like so, there we go, perfect. So you can see there, we can use the cover-up feature to do it line by line together as a class, like so. Down we go. You can do the whole comprehension as well. And then you can answer the questions one by one. So we're going to use our labeling option here as well. Um, so you can see where the frag has plots on his body and we can see there that it was his face, arms and back. So once you've got your pupils to answer the question, face, arms, back, pop it in there. 
and we have an answer on an answer sheet as if you were doing it live. So um, really, really simple, really effective. Again, you can keep going, um, you can keep going down. So we, let's just say we go into search. Box. What did Frank mum say that Frank had? And we can move that one into position like so. Sort it. Again, take a picture, save it into your class file, which we'll show you where in a moment. Really simple to do comprehension there together. You can change colours as well if you need. Um, okay, next one across. Um, we have uh, a periodic table here. So let's do look at the, a periodic table with chemistry. So um, I think we need to zoom in once more. There we go. So we get a nice clear picture and it's nice and visible. Okay, if we get a lot of cognitive overload with a visualizer, so what we can use is the spotlight feature here. This will just focus on a specific area. We can make this as small as we want, like so, and we can just discuss specific elements. So we can go, okay, we can discuss platinum here, or we can discuss cobalt, nickel, copper. We can make this bigger to discuss um, specific groupings if we wanted, and we can change the shape of it as well. So really simple to do, yet really effective and makes you helps focus on specific areas for your class, okay? You can make this different shapes if you want, or you can have it at different um, transparencies as well. So you can have it semi-transparent. So really simple and really easy to do. Okay. And this go over there. And then lastly, we've got um, a circuit board. So this is the bit of physics. So again, I need to zoom out to its furthest point, like so. So we can actually use the um, arrow feature and the labeling feature here to, to point out what the specific things are. So if I go straight line, and then I'll go blue and then I'll choose the arrow so I can point out here and go what is this here it creates an arrow at the end of it um, and we can actually label that as the bulb and um, I'll tell you what let's make that a little bit bigger so we can adjust the sizing of our rim of our text as well if we need to go bulb like so um, and then at the top here we've got battery as well so Move that across and then if we go line arrow point get the battery there perfect okay and what we can even do as well is with the built-in whiteboard we can build our own circuit boards so if i delete what i've got here before i'm going to go straight line oops sorry forward straight line i'm going to create my own circuit board here so let's just go one here and then let's have a switch in here Cross like so, and then we would have a light bulb. So we're going to use circles again, like so. And then we can create a light bulb in here. Go straight line above again, across, and then we would stick a battery in here. Ooh, that's a little bit uh, not straight, but using the undo feature, we can go back. And then we would have a battery in here. Like so, there you go. So really simple to do. You can then label it yourself. We can compare and contrast. We can take a picture of ours, or we can use the recording segment as well, whichever is easier. And if we go into side by side again, we can actually access the one that, oh, let's go back to images. We can actually access the one that we've done previously as well. So there's different ones you can do. So just a few simple ideas there for you on how to use a visualizer for remote learning just by using the annotation tools, split screen, for, you know, for peer assessment, for live marking, instant feedback, um, and as well, the Sway Media Library is. So anything you want to store comes in here. But if you have a specific file for a specific year group, drag and drop it into that year group. You've got a digital learning record of exactly what they've done, and you can refer back to it whenever you want. You can share it internally with other members of staff using the same curriculum, or you can share it externally to pupils for homework, or for pupils who are sick or self-isolating as well, so it will save you time. So um, I hope you found that useful. Um, we partner with Ava um, here at Elementary, so if there's any, any demos you need or any more, more information, then please let us know. I'd be happy to help.